Hi guys, it's Alexis. Okay, so this is the look for today. It's the Who Dat? New Orleans Saints of popular demand. Um, I was requested to do this video after doing the Dallas Cowboys look, so here it is, New Orleans Saints. So if you're interested as always, I hope you'll stay tuned and keep watching. So I'm going to start out with my Crystal Avalanche. That's going to be my highlight color. And again, I've already primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion. But I'm going to pop that Crystal Avalanche right up under here. Now, I don't normally use a white highlighter. Uh, but for this look, since, you know, black, white, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, black, white, and gold. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone with the white color so it can pop and stand out a little bit more than usual. Okay. Then I'm going to take my um, what is it? Maybelline Color Tattoo in Too Cool. It is the white one. Looks like that. Or you could use a white base, whatever you have. Uh, anyway, shadow base, jumbo pencil, milk, whatever. Um, I just chose to do this one today. But I'm just going to put that on my lid. And blend it up a little bit. Now this is a little messy. Because of my nails, but you know, doesn't make any difference. Just like that. I'll go in my Urban Decay with Naked. This is the one palette, just for some blending color on a fluffy brush. Pop that into my crease. It's going to help me blend my colors a lot easier when you do that. Just that in that crease of course my favorite thing scotch tape take that and that's gonna go from my lower lash line up to my eyebrow and make sure I do it right I can tape some of my hair now Ugh. just like that just on an angled brush and take some of my gel liner the one I'm using is the wet and wild gel liner and I'm gonna start and cut my crease so wherever you want to cut it um, usually it's in the fold of your eye but I'm gonna cut try to make sure this is even but I'm gonna cut right along my crease Just like that. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we're going to fix it, but as long as you get it, it's good. And then just kind of blend it upwards. And then along the side. And blend it upwards. Just like that. Okay, so taking a black eyeshadow, I'm using the one for my Wet n Wild palette in, um, I don't know what this is called. Oh, I love mattes. But any black eyeshadow do. This is just the one that I chose for today. And on a little bitty detail brush, I'm going to cover that liner with that and blend it upwards. And just blend it upwards and out. With my domed brush, try to blend out my edges. So with a white eyeliner, any white eyeliner do, this is the one from uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I'm just going to go right up under that black liner just for some white base. Just like so. So wetting a little uh, detailed brush like this with some water. 
going into that crystal avalanche again that's going to be on that white color and the reason we wet it again is because we know pigments are more pigmented when they're wet so we're going to go right up under that and sharpen up that line and darken it you can go all the way in with that Okay, so working with my gel liner again, I'm just going to darken up the edge of that line. Just like that. And then we're going to go right underneath for another line. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to clean it up. And sorry if I am not in focus. I am trying to get into my mirror so I can do this and be in the camera at the same time. Y'all know how it is. From there, I'm going to take my Sea of Gold LA Splash Gold Pigment. Wet my brush on a with some water or Fix Plus or whatever you have. And then that's going to go all over the lid. And then we're going to cover up that inside because we're going to blend over that. Okay, so removing my tape. Got your perfect wing. Um, using my Milani liquid, liquid Eye in gold. That's going to go on the waterline. just like so and then with my little detail brush again that's using the black under the lower lash line now for the lashes I'm using these they're nice black and gold studded lashes again made by me um, so yeah these are the cute lashes I made for this specifically for this look. So I'm going to throw these on and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is the finished look of the New Orleans Saints. Uh, it's black, white, and gold. Uh, it came out really pretty. Prettier than I thought in my head. But I'm I'm glad it came out uh, like I envisioned it. I wasn't too sure about it. Um, but believe it or not, some guys requested this video since I did the Dallas Cowboy look. Um, and again, the lashes were made by me black and gold studded lashes but let me give you a little zoom so you can see what it looks like um it's really really cute i'm loving it um if you guys are wondering about any other uh football teams just leave in the comments below the football team that you want to see and their colors uh, because i'm not a big football fan so i don't know all the teams or their colors so you would have to tell me the team and the colors so that i could uh do a tutorial for that um but i hope you guys like it all the you guys who are new orleans saints fans um and i'm glad you guys like the cowboys video um I, again i'll leave in the description box um products used contact information for lashes and pricing and pics will be on facebook at still to artistry and on instagram at s-t-e-a-l-e-o-2 which is my youtube name and also follow me on twitter again s-t-e-a-l-e-o-2 and thank you guys for watching next video next time guys deuces bye